Next speaker is a native of Lake Charles, started Barb High School and played at McNeese State. He's in his first season under Willie Fritz at Tulane after serving four years as running backs coach and special teams coordinator at McNeese State. He also coached previously at Northwestern State, LSU, Dodge City Community College, Texas State, and Central Arkansas. Tulane will play at UConn Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Please give a warm welcome to Coach Slade Nagel of the Tulane Gray Wave. Slade. First off, uh, on behalf of our staff and Coach Fritz, uh, I think I'm the last uh, to be here. So uh, I, I want to tell you, uh, we really appreciate you guys having us and allowing us to come out and speak to you each week. I, I know Coach is really appreciative of that. And, uh, and from our staff, we really thank you. Uh, good luck, Coach, this Friday. I actually recruit Coach's school, so I follow him. And best of luck to you guys. I know uh, you all will go up there and get after him. And I also am a golf fan, so I, I'd like to come to the Zerg uh, this coming year also. Enjoy, I've been to it about three years and enjoyed, and really enjoyed it. It's a, a first class, uh, really good event. So, um, it, Tulane, obviously, we're going into our last ball game this week against uh, Connecticut. Um, before I get to that, I'll talk a little bit about last week. Um, you know, there were not very many positives out of it. We really, when you look at it, Temple was probably the most well-rounded football team we played this year. They're really good. I think they're ranked third in the nation on defense behind Alabama and Michigan right now. And they've got some good football players, and it really showed out there the other day. Um, you know, <clears throat> more impressive to me about their whole football team was on offense, you look at them, they were good at the quarterback position, they were good at wide out, they were good at running back, they were good on the offensive line. So they really had no weaknesses, and then they were very, very well coached, well disciplined, and, you know, just a team that executes and, and, and did things right. And, Really gave us a lot of problems uh, the other day, uh, as you saw with the score. But as a team, you know, Coach really expressed to our guys, they're kind of what we're aspiring to be. You know, a good, hard-nosed, disciplined, you know, football team that plays solid on offense, defense, and the special teams. You know, there was not a lot of, of uh, jawing or anything like that after the play by them. Really impressed with them, and you got to give them a lot of credit. So. Um, our defense really early in the ball game kept us in it and, and has really played well all year. We were just never able to get anything going offensively. And a lot of that had to do with Temple. You know, we made some mistakes, but, but Temple was really good. And, um, they've got a defensive end who's, who's going to be a draft pick and, and got some older kids over there and, and really did a nice job. So um, <clears throat> moving on from that game, we play UConn this week uh, and we go up there. Um, really the focus for our football team has been to keep pushing, keep staying positive, keep preparing the way, you know, the way we've been preparing week after week and, and something good is going to happen. Um, U UConn struggled a little bit this year. Um, they've had some offensive struggles. And, uh, but, you know, their football team is going to be ready to play as well. So, you know, I, I think our kids are really, you know, to the point that, hey, they're positive, they're believing in what we're doing. Um, we're still pushing that direction, and, and something good's going to happen for us. You know, it's, it's you know, it's like some of you, you guys in here have coached or whatnot, and, and sometimes the ball doesn't bounce your way. Sometimes we need to do a, some things a little bit better. But the, the one thing you can never do is you can't lose your effort level, your preparation level, you know, your your belief level, those things. And I think our football team's done a really good job with that. That's really a, a credit to Coach Fritz. I mean, he, he's a one heck of a leader. This is my first year working with him. I've, I've had the opportunity to coach against him. And uh, <clears throat> he's definitely as advertised, that's for sure. And uh, so we'll, we'll go up there and we'll compete and, uh, you know, and play our best football, hopefully, and hopefully finish this season out with a win that can carry us on into the off season and in, further into recruiting. Um, the other thing, you know, that's big about this week is uh, this will be the last game for some seniors who at Tulane really had, had really good careers. A couple of them offhand is the first linebacker, Nico Marley. You know, this will be his last game playing here for the Green Wave. And he's a four-year starter uh, who was a first-team all-conference guy last year who, you know, I would be shocked that if he wasn't an all-conference guy again. I mean, the guy's amazing. You know, he's uh, five foot eight, I guess, and 200 and 205 pounds, and it looks every time you look up, you know, he's making a play. And in fact, my dad's a, been a football coach for almost 40 years, and he's been to a couple of our games. And he, you know, he says, I tell you what, he goes, that may be 
my favorite football player I've ever watched. He said he brings all the energy to your defense. He brings the energy to your team. So he'll be a guy that's done a lot of good things at, at Tulane, and uh, you know this will be his last game with us. The other guy is Tenzel Smart, who's been a three-year starter, but also played his freshman year, and uh, he was a first-team All-Conference guy uh, last year, a kid out of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, out of Scotlandville High School. So. You know, it, it'll be tough losing those guys, and we've got some other seniors with them. But I just wanted to kind of point out those two guys because they've, you know, they've received some of the accolades and had really good careers for us. So, um, like I said, we'll go into this game and approach it like we always do, and and put our head down and go and go to work throughout the week and prep all the way through it, and, and hopefully go to UConn and uh, and compete our butts off and uh, and have a pretty good game, come out with a victory. So. Um, and saying that, uh, that kind of leads us after this week, we'll be right hot out on the recruiting trail, which we've done some already uh, throughout the season. We've done, we've done some recruiting. We kind of we kind of had a little monkey wrench thrown in there because, you know, usually during your open date during the football season, you have a, a, a really good amount of time there to get out and get your whole staff out recruiting. And uh, it, it kind of kind of got thrown for a loop when the Central Florida game uh, got canceled later in the week. So we lost a few days there, but we've tried to gain a few back kind of in the back half of the week. Uh, in fact, you know, I've been out, uh, left after practice a couple times on a Thursday and gone out, stuff like that. So, but we'll jump right into it uh, when we get back next week. And uh, I can't, obviously can't comment directly on certain players or whatnot, but, you know, we have some needs that we need to fill that uh, as a staff, we've really been you know, spending a bunch of time on and trying to, to uh, make sure we're pinpointing the right guys and, uh, and going after them and, you know, trying to <clears throat> sell them on all the good things there are here in New Orleans and here at Tulane. So that's kind of where we're at and, uh, and where we'll be here the next few weeks and uh, leading into January going on to signing date. So does anybody have any questions about anything? Yeah, I think we're going to recruit every position. Um, we obviously we're we're hurting depth wise at some positions. Offensive line probably being the most. Um, so you know, right now we're we're looking at signing a pretty big class in that area, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to sign some receivers. We're going to sign a quarterback. You know, we'll sign a tight end, a running back, and probably yeah, at least one of everything. But I'd say if one position sticks out the most. For us, you know, we're we're thin at that position, and have been since since the beginning of the year. So that that'll be a that'll be a big uh, big task for us in this class. And you know, like everything, you you build from the foundation up. And on offense, you know, you have to start up front on the offensive line. If <clears throat> and, and we're really, you know, we've been hurting depth wise. There is what's you know what's really been the biggest factor for us. And we lose a couple seniors also off the offensive line, and Chris Taylor and Todd Jaquette. So. Hopefully we'll do a good job in in, uh, in this class with the offensive line and bring some guys in. Anybody else? Hey coach, what percentage of your recruiting class do you anticipate being in state? Being in state, uh, you know, I don't know if we put a direct percentage on it. I know as a coaching staff, we start close to home first. In fact, our as a staff, we in the greater New Orleans area, everybody's got seven or eight schools, and uh, you know, so we start there and work out. Um, you know, one thing we are looking for is we're, we're looking for a particular student athlete that fits our program. So we, we've gone a little bit broader, you know, in, in a geographical area, you know, in, in some cases. But uh, if there's a guy here close to home, then we're definitely going to recruit him and try and get him in the program. But to say we put a certain percentage on it, I wouldn't say that that's a, you know, exact. But we're definitely going to we'll be out hot and heavy here in the state for sure. So. Coach. What's the possibility of using Yeoman for high school football games since you have about three or four within a two-mile radius of Tulane? And then also talk about your dad and his influence in your coaching career also. Yeah, uh, the answer to Yeoman is, and I'm going to be quite honest with you, me personally, I have no idea. <laughs> that would be a Coach Fritz and Troy Dannon question. But I think it would be a great thing. I really do. Uh, like you said, there are several high schools that are right here, right around us, and uh, and it'd be a good setting for them to play. You know, I, I'm sure the high schools would feel that way too. But <clears throat> as far as I, I haven't been in in those conversations, but I, I do think it'd be a good thing. And uh, to answer your question about my dad, 
you know, my dad coached, I guess, 30 something years in college football. And, uh, you know, it was pretty unique because he never coached me in anything growing up. Um, but then I had the chance to play for him, not directly. He didn't coach me directly, but he was on the staff uh, at McNeese while I was a player there. And then as soon as I got done, we actually coached on the staff together at Northwestern. So, you know, I, I don't know if there's a whole lot of people that can say they've done that. And, and he's been, I mean, he, he's been a great inspiration for me. He's taught me, you know, a ton of what I know. You know, he's, he's always a, uh, he's always, a, I don't want to say positive all the time, but he's always got a smile on his face. So he can, uh, he'll, he'll definitely get the, the attitude in the room up, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, he, he's one of, the, one of the guys that taught me from a young age is, hey, when you, if you do this long enough, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. But at the end of the day, you've got to be consistent and approach it the same day in and day out. And I think he's still doing it. You know, every year he says, I think I'm going to coach two more years. So I, I don't know if he'll ever quit doing it. So, <laughs> so. any other questions? Well, thank you. I appreciate you having us.